Hi, this is Shelley Kraft, and we're coming to you live on SNN Live. We're at the Biofarm America 2011 conference in Boston, Mass. I'm here with Nirjana Bachman of Children's Hospital of Boston, and she's in the Technology and Innovation Office. I can't wait to start this interview. So how are you? I'm fine, thanks. So tell me what you do. So I work in the Technology and Innovation Development Office and we partner our assets and the knowledge base at Children's Hospital with industry partners to facilitate development of th therapies for patients. So that takes you into a world where your assets being what? Patients, right? Mm -hmm. And obviously doctors mm -hmm. and labs mm -hmm. and you can... So how do you interact with the companies? That's what I think I'm asking. Um, in many different ways. So it could be where we have a patent filed uh, and we need a company partner to license that patent and, and take it on to product development. Or it could be at the stage that's uh, clinical trial, clinical development, because we do have the patients, as you mentioned, and the doctors and clinical research. So uh, companies can come to us to do pediatric clinical development. Um, and then there's also the area of early discovery work where we might have expertise, animal models, um, research, where we really need a company partner to help us move something forward to patients and companies are in the position to really work with us and if we can bring molecules in um, to our hands, we bring those uh, that expertise to the companies, together we can really develop um, a fruitful partnership where it will end up really speeding development of therapies. I think it's wonderful that you're actively participating in a biotech conference, seeking out these arrangements, and this particular conference with the one-on-one -on -one partnerships. Mm -hmm. So have you had any luck so far? Um, well, this is a great conference. We were here last year. We're a sponsor this year as well. Um, happy to be here. We do participate in a number of partnering conferences. I think we have a number of meetings set up tomorrow, maybe 10 or so between all of us. Um, and we're looking to partner all of our different assets, whether they're in CNS or um, oncology. We have a lot in orphan disease areas because we're a pediatric institution. So um, we really are looking across the board at, at the opportunities here. I'm going to tell you that we've been at quite a few conferences over the course of this year and every year, and a lot of times we're coming upon companies that are looking to partner with a firm, a place, a hospital with all of your assets just like you are. So how would you have our viewership reach you? Um, well, our website, which is childrensinnovations.org, um, is the best way. We're all listed there. You can also search any of us um, by our names. We come up in LinkedIn, and um, we're also on Twitter, Science for Care, and Children's Tito are on Twitter. Um, so there we know that. <laughs> many ways to reach us. So what is, I know this is going to, kind of sound like a silly question, but what's your sweet spot? If you could find something right now that you are looking for, ladies and gentlemen, what is that? So what that is, is for me, it's a strategic alliance with a company, most likely a big company or a company that's really dedicated to developing therapies for kids where we could set up something broad, long-term, large in scope where we would be able to bring opportunities on a regular basis, on a long-term basis to this partner and almost co-develop a pipeline with them. And so they know us, we know them, we, we handle all IP issues up front um, and we look at this as we're doing this work for the patient and we're going to each bring our complementary expertise to this relationship, do something like a five-year relationship um, and bring all of us together so that we can work productively. Well, it's good that you have a long-term perspective. Is autism high up on your list? Absolutely. Yeah, Children's has a lot of expertise in autism from the diagnostic perspective as well as the therapeutic perspective. So many of my friends, unfortunately, only but before the grace of God go we, but I have many friends that have had that issue seemingly more than I ever thought of and perhaps more than there has ever been. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I know you can't, you don't know the history of it, but... It's one of those things we'd love to see the cure for that. Absolutely. You know? Yeah, we're working hard on that. Good, good. I'm happy to hear that. One more time, let's get that website. Uh, childrensinnovations.org. Good luck at everything Thanks. you do. Thanks Such so a much. wonderful thing you Thanks do. Thanks a lot for having Appreciate us. Appreciate it.